on and you too. Friday, I cleaned the office, so I took all the coffee mugs home to wash them. Forgot my coffee mugs, forgot the French press, so I had to make a quick Starbucks run. I hate to do it, I hate to do it, but I had to do it. So, cheers to early mornings. Let there be light. Woohoo! I don't want to stop working. I don't want to stop working, but my stomach's growling. Gotta go get some Texas Roadhouse. Come on, come on. Today it's for real. I gotta wake up. have a tripod today in the office I don't have a light set so we're going old school we're using the IKEA light putting it into work okay about three weeks ago I hung these cameras on the wall this is my grandfather's camera a Pentax a 35 millimeter old school I, this is probably this is probably 60 years old no doubt and it would still work if I put a battery in it so on Saturday, four days ago on the vlog, if you saw that upper right hand corner, check it out. I, um, we visited my grandmother in Colorado Springs and basically she watched the vlog where I talked about this camera and hanging it on the wall. And she thought to herself, wait a minute, Grampy, my grandfather's camera, his last camera is just sitting on a shelf. And why doesn't Seth have it? So, she, here it is, here it is, right there. Uh, she gave me my grandfather's last camera. Now, he passed away three years ago. So, um, one second. He, here it is. It's just a little, like, Fuji film, little tiny digital camera. You know, pretty old school, but guess what's inside? Guess what is inside? It's, uh, one second, sorry. Hold on a second here. Boom. Hopefully you can see this. You just pull it out here, the memory card. I don't know what's on this memory card. Now it's a very, very strange memory card. It's like half the size of most memory cards, so it won't fit into my computer, so I need to find an adapter. But this is a pretty big deal. Anyway, my first, my first camera right here, video cameras acting as light stands. It's all connected, it's all connected. All right, now I'm leaving the office, the day has been very, very effective in the office. Time to go for a run, then go home. You know, you know the routine.
going to try and go for a long run. But on the way over, I was listening to the radio, and I like the radio. I like FM radio. I like AM radio. I don't really listen to XM. But the reason I like radio is because it is the free-flowing... Sorry if it's windy. Oh, I apologize. I'm going to keep talking. So I like the radio because it's the free flow of ideas without any filter. At least in the, in the United States, we have free press. But what I want to talk about, well, what I just listened to on the radio is healthcare and the whole debate between, you know, who should receive healthcare coverage, uh, whether it's provided by the government, whether it's all, you know, private sector whether it's through your, you know, the company that you work for, et cetera, et cetera. Now, we're not gonna talk about healthcare today. If you wanna comment below, feel free. So a democratic republic, they can make decisions for us legally. And that might be the case in your country as well. In fact, that might have to be the question of the day. How is your government set up? I have a general feel for many European countries, how it works. Here in the US, what these people in the federal government cannot do, or even local government, so state government or even county government, they cannot dictate how much we exercise. Does that make sense? So if you want to go for a 50 mile run, that's about 80 kilometers, you can go run 80 kilometers if you want to. And I know that's the case in many countries around the world, maybe not all countries. So what I'm getting at is like for our personal health, we are in charge of our personal health. So it's all about uh, preventative medicine, which really comes down to how much, what do you eat and how much do you exercise? That's it. And that can prevent heart disease, diabetes, even cancer, so I'm told. Um, and now I know not all diseases are preventative through exercise and what you eat, but a lot of it is. So Almost went exactly as far as I wanted to, a little short. Look me up on Strava if you want to see how far I went today. Let's just say we're halfway home, Joseph, for the goal on May 5th. Oh, shout out to Bridget uh -huh. for calling me halfway through because I took about a two minute break for that phone call and that actually really reset me well. All right, time to go home. Guys, we are vessels. Oh, hold on. We are vessels. Our bodies are vessels. We got to take care of them. They're carrying precious cargo. You know, we gotta be, uh, watch our cholesterol, watch what we eat. I don't wanna be your mom, but, uh, you know, those veggies, those veggies. All right. <sighs> Boys are down. Oh, Seth was tired, just like his papa. I am so tired. I'm actually gonna resist filming the time lapse for the evening, for the sunset. It's just, uh, I'm too tired. But because I am resisting, I actually found a new spot on our estate to film a time lapse. It's just like right over there <laughs> because I walked around the, the house. Anyway, long story. All right, uh, I gotta go to bed because tomorrow I'm filming the first tutorial on vlogging. So come back for that tomorrow. Love you guys, seek beauty, work hard, love each other. See you tomorrow.